Hello! If you want to see the full, unedited version of this, this is the short version, to make sure you get all the facts, it is over on my second channel, Flats 2. We have got some massive news today. If you haven't heard of the news, Activision Blizzard was acquired by Microsoft. And we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it, and I'm gonna show you all the news as we go. But holy shit. This has major repercussions. So far deep, it's not even funny. Dude, listen, we, we took our horizons, okay? Like, this was like the edge of our horizon, right? This was the edge of our horizons. And we fucking throw that bitch so far out. It's not even funny. At all, all of the wildest dreams that we have thought of for Overwatch are actually now possible. Let's start with the first one. The easiest one of the day. Today is a historic moment. We are excited to announce that the world-renowned franchises and talented people at Activision Blizzard will be joining Team Xbox. Full announcement and details here. Xbox plus Activision Blizzard, welcoming the incredible teams and legendary franchises of Activision Blizzard to Microsoft Gaming. Creators of Call of Duty, Warcraft, Candy Crush, Tony Hawk, Diablo, Overwatch, Spyro. Wait, Spyro is an Activision Blizzard game? Wait a minute. Hearthstone, Guitar Hero, Crash Bandicoot, Starcraft, and more join the Xbox team. I might have to play some Spyro on stream as a cel uh, as, as a, a celebration. You know what I'm saying? As a team, and by the way, I haven't read this yet. As a team, we are on a mission to extend the joy and community of gaming to everyone on the planet. We all know that gaming is the most vibrant and dynamic form of entertainment world. Sorry, worldwide, and we experience power of social connection and friendship that makes gaming possible. As we pursue that mission, it is incredibly exciting to announce that Microsoft has agreed to acquire Activision Blizzard. Over many decades, the studios and teams that make up Activision Blizzard have earned vast wellsprings of joy and respect from billions of people all over the world. Thank you. We have an incredibly excited... Steve Skin for Hanzo? We are incredibly excited to have a chance to work with the amazing, talented, dedicated people across Activision Publishing, Blizzard Entertainment, Phoenix, Demonware, Digital Legends, High Moon Studios, Infinity Ward, King, Major League Gaming, Radical Entertainment, Raven Software, Sledgehammer Games, Toys for Bob, Treyarch, and every team across Activision Blizzard. There are some absolute juggernauts in that. Until the transaction closes, Activision Blizzard and Microsoft Gaming will continue to operate independently. Once the deal is complete, the Activision Blizzard business will report to me as CEO, Microsoft Gaming. That's Phil Spencer, by the way, writing the article. Upon close, we will offer as many Activision Blizzard games as we can with an Xbox Game Pass and PC Game Pass both new titles and games from Activision Blizzard's incredible catalog. We also announced today that Game Pass now has more than 25 million subscribers. As always, we look forward to continuing to add more value and great games to Game Pass. That does not mean that it means exclusives, chat. That just means that Game Pass is getting even more valuable. The fantastic franchises across Activision Blizzard will also accelerate our plans for cloud gaming, allowing more people in more places around the world to participate in the Xbox community using phones, tablets, laptops, and other devices you already own. Activision Blizzard I games are enjoyed on a variety of platforms. Love your stream. Hope you are doing okay, Flatch. And we plan to continue to support those communities moving forward. Thank you so much, dude. Um, as a community, no, sorry, as a company, Microsoft is committed to our journey for inclusion in every aspect of gaming, both among both employees and players. We deeply value individual studio cultures. We believe that creative success and autonomy go hand in hand with treating every person with dignity and respect. We hold all teams and all leaders to this commitment. 
We are looking forward to extending our culture and provocative inclusion to the great teams across Activision Blizzard. Around the world, there is no more exciting venue for fun and connection than video games. And there has never been a better, better time to play than right now. As we extend the joy of, ga of community... Oh, sorry. Extend the joy and community of gaming to everyone. We look forward to welcoming all of our new friends at Activision Blizzard to Microsoft Gaming. Now, I need, nothing is finalized, obviously, chat. But I have a feeling that this photo is here for a reason. I saw John Spector tweeted this morning. He goes, oh, that's a nice thing to wake up to, I guess. Uh, and like, so I would assume that so there's a lot of people that probably didn't know about it. And after working in corporate, unless they were on the board, you probably didn't know about this. Unless you're on the board, you probably didn't know about this. But I want to point out another tweet really quick. Another tweet really quick. Together with Activision Blizzard, we will usher in a new era of gaming that puts players and creators first and makes all gaming safe, inclusive, and accessible to all. I hope you guys understand the significance of this sentence. There's two reasons for this. One, that is Xbox literally saying they know that Activision sucks at this. And it's Activision Blizzard is terrible at this. Now, I will say in the last few months, it's been a pleasant surprise um, that Overwatch's stuff has reached out to more content creators and stuff. And we've had fun things like the experimental tournament. You know what I mean? Like, we've been able to give more feedback about stuff and try to improve the game and have more fun mechanics and more fun stuff. You know, the in the past Overwatch experimental, the shatter change got put in. That wasn't a change I actually thought the game would ever be put in. They wanted us to give over the top April Fools kind of like fun changes. And I was like, fuck it. Like, let's just make slammer sl shatter, make people go boom, you know? And they put it in the game. That's like a creator community. And I got that idea from my community, from you guys, you know, that is literally Overwatch working with its community. Overwatch is really bad at that, though. Like, in terms of the, of the rest of the space. Apex is a lot better at it. Apex Apex is currently fighting to have their entire rank system changed, and they're listening. Have they done everything yet? No, they they, 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 they kind of pulled an Overwatch and had different changes, and now the community's f fired back and like, no, put in the changes we asked for, and now they're having a conversation about it, but they're at least there having the conversation about it. We kind of don't really, you know, we have like... We don't have any of that kind of input. And this kind of says that putting players and creators first is huge. Um, because it hasn't felt like that for a, like a long time in Overwatch games. And it's not just Overwatch. It's it's across the spectrum of, of Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, etc. And, you know, that is that is that statement right there acknowledges that, that that's a problem. You know? That acknowledges it, that it's a problem. And they want to try to work on it. So, I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> Not wrong. Not wrong. You know what we... You know what You know what my six head take is, chat? Lock in means the, the prime for three months. My six head take is Overwatch PvP, free to play. Overwatch PvE, paid DLC, or paid paid expansion. Plus Game Pass. Is there any argument why this could be a bad thing? Sure. Just curious. Agus the bads, the bads could be um, for a while if things get super duper corporate, and it slows slows things down even worse. Where let's say with Overwatch 2, they had planned to have like you know faster updates, and they were gonna like boom 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 push things out. But all of a sudden, Microsoft wants to monitor everything, and they're taking more checks and balances for that stuff to get out. That slows the whole process down. They already have that problem right now. They tr they're they trying to unshackle themselves. You can get slower because before they had to check in with Activision, you know, and like check in with higher ups. If there's even higher, higher ups, they just boom, 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 boom. Like you could go, like that chain just gets so long and all of a sudden there's more people in the room. If you've never heard the phrase, too many cooks in the kitchen, that if you ask enough people, the idea becomes shit. And I, I, I did this I, when I worked in corporate. This is this has happened to me. The amount of times I've had an amazing idea, 
the people around me have gone, yes, this is amazing. And then people outside of that sphere that have absolutely no influence, do not work with it at all, barely just know about it in passing, will go, well, that's stupid. And they'll just give some fucking brain GG take on why it's bad. That makes no sense. But if you get enough of those people, all of a sudden you have 50-50 on what could be in a great, great idea. You have to be careful with that kind of stuff. Because if you have too many people in the room that don't know what they're talking about, and everybody's trying to give their opinion, you're going to get locked and you're not going to move.